हेलो एंड वेलकम टू वाइज आईएस इंटरनेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशन में हमारा अगला टॉपिक है आईसीजे इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस आईसीजे की अगर बात करें आईसीजे वाज एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन 1945 बाय द यूनाइटेड नेशंस चार्टर एंड द एंड स्टार्टेड वर्किंग इन अप्रैल 1946 it is the principal judicial organ of the united nations united nations ka jo topic hai wo maine last month ab basically aap keval matra united nation jab bhi baat aaye to ek cheez samjhiye sare ke sare countries ka ek supreme organ usko united nations ka kya functions hai kya role hai wo hum is topic ke last mein discuss karenge तो इट इज द प्रिंसिपल जुडिशियल ऑर्गन ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशंस सिचुएटेड एट द पीस पैलेस इन द हेग नीदरलैंड्स अनलाइक द सिक्स प्रिंसिपल ऑर्गन्स ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशंस इट इज द ओनली वन नॉट लोकेटेड इन न्यूयॉर्क तो केवल मात्र एक ऐसा ऑर्गन है जो कि न्यूयॉर्क में सिचुएटेड नहीं है बाकी के सारे के सारे ऑर्गन्स यूनाइटेड नेशंस के न्यूयॉर्क इट सेटल्स लीगल डिस्प्यूट्स बिटवीन द स्टेट्स एंड गिव्स एडवाइजरी ओपिनियन इन अकॉर्डेंस विद द इंटरनेशनल लॉ स्टेट्स के बीच में यानी कि कंट्रीज के बीच में जो डिस्प्यूट्स हैं उसको सेटल करना और एडवाइज करना ओपिनियन देना इंटरनेशनल लॉ के ऊपर नो लीगल क्वेश्चन रेफर टू इट बाय द ऑथराइज इन यूनाइटेड नेशन ऑर्गन and special specialized agencies sorry on on legal questions refer to it yani ki legal questions ya legal hum maan lijiye india ka constitution india ke constitution mein likha hai ki supreme court is having advisory jurisdiction interpretation kisi bhi law ki supreme court kar sakta hai usi tarike se united nations ke liye koi international agar law banaya gaya उसकी इंटरप्रिटेशन जो है आईसीजे कर सकता है इट हैज 193 स्टेट पार्टीज एंड करंट प्रेसिडेंट इज जॉन ए डॉन्ग बैकग्राउंड ऑफ आईसीजे फॉर्मेशन की अगर बात करें आर्टिकल 33 ऑफ द यूएन चार्टर लिस्ट द नेगोशिएशन इंक्वायरी मीडिएशन एटसेट्रा Methods for the Pacific settlement of dispute between states. Some of these methods involve the services of third parties. अब आर्टिकल थर्टी थ्री जो है वो कहता है मेडिएशन नेगोशिएशन या ऐसे सारे मेजर्स अडॉप्ट करके मेंबर कंट्रीज जो है मेंबर स्टेट्स यानी कि मेंबर कंट्रीज मेंबर कंट्रीज के आपसे डिस्प्यूट जो है वो रिजॉल्व किए जाएंगे historically mediation and arbitration prescribe judicial settlement the former was known in the ancient india and the islamic world while numerous examples of the latter can be judicial can be found in the ancient greece in china among the arabian tribes in maritime customary law in medieval europe and in papal practice This was the brief introduction. The modern history of the international arbitration. If we talk about it, the first phase is generally recognized as dating back from the so-called Joy Treaty of 1794 between the United States of America and the Great Britain. The Alamba, the Alabama, the Alabama claims arbitration in 1872. between united kingdom and the united states marked the start of a second even more decisive phase the hague phase conference of 1899 convened on the initiative of the russian caesar nicholas 2 marked the beginning of the third phase in the modern history of the international arbitration With respect to arbitration, the 1890 1899 Convention 
provided for the creation of permanent machinery known as the Permanent Court of Arbitration established in 1900 and began operating in 1902. The convention also created a permanent bureau located in The Hague with functions corresponding to those of a court registry or sect and laid down a set of rules of procedure to govern the conduct of arbitration. Various plans and proposals submitted between 1911 and 1919 both by national and international bodies and by governments for the establishment of international judicial tribunal for the establishment of international judicial tribunal which culminated in the creation of a permanent court of international justice as an integral part of new international system set up after the end of first world war in 1943 china the ussr the united kingdom and the united states issued a joint declaration recognizing the necessity of establishing at the earliest practicable date a general international organization based on the principle of sovereign equality of all peace loving states and open to membership by all such states large and small for the maintenance of international peace and security in china ussr or uk and the united states issued a joint declaration recognizing the necessity कि हमें एक इंटरनेशनल लेवल के ऊपर एक ऐसी संस्था चाहिए जो कि इंटरनेशनल लॉ को इंटरप्रेट कर सके और जो भी अमन शांति पसंद देश है वो उसके मेंबर बन सके और अमन शांति के लिए वो संस्था काम करे अगर कोई डिस्प्यूट आए तो उसको अमन और शांति से ही रिजॉल्व कराया जा सके सब्सिक्वेंटली जी एच हेकवर्थ United States Committee was entrusted with preparing a draft statute for the future International Court of Justice in 1945. The St. Francisco Conference, while keeping committee recommendation in mind, decided against compulsory jurisdiction and in favor of creation of an entirely new court, which would be principal organ of the United Nations. So, United Nations is principal organ. Ho gaya. On the same footing, the General Assembly, the Security Council, the Economic and Social Council and the Trustship Council and the Secretary. So, this is an organ. Bana diya. The PCU met for the last time in October 1945 and resolved to transfer its active archives and effects to the new International Court of Justice, which like its predecessor, was to have its seat at the Peace Palace. In April 1946, the PCIG was formally dissolved and the International Court of Justice meeting for the first time elected as the as its president judge, Jos Gustavo Gerano El Salvador, the last president of PCIG. So, last president is the next president. Structure of ICJ. Jo the court is compro composed of 15 judges who are elected for term of office of 9 years by the United Nations General Assembly. For 9 years, UN General Assembly jo hai and the Security Council. These two will select 15 judges. Ko select kar. These organs vote simultaneously but separately. UN General Assembly or Security Council simultaneous vote hota hai, but separately. In order to be elected, a candidate must receive an absolute majority of votes in both the bodies. Security Council or UN General Assembly may usko dono me bahumat chahi. In order to ensure a measure of continuity, one third of the court is elected every three years 
एंड जजेस आर एलिजिबल फॉर री इलेक्शन तीन साल बाद वन थर्ड जो है जजेस वो री इलेक्ट करे जाते हैं वो इलेक्शन होते हैं और एक जज जो रिटायर हो गया वो री इलेक्ट भी हो सकते हैं ICJ is assisted by a registry. Its administrative organ, its official languages are English and French. तो पंद्रह जो जजेस हैं इनका सिलेक्शन डिस्ट्रीब्यूट किस तरीके से होगा तीन होंगे अफ्रीका से दो होंगे लेटिन अमेरिका एंड कैरेबियन से तीन होंगे एशिया से फाइव फ्रॉम वेस्टर्न यूरोप एंड अदर स्टेट्स दो होंगे ईस्टर्न यूरोप से तो इस तरीके से तीन दो तीन पांच और दो पंद्रह जजेस सिलेक्ट होंगे अनलाइक अदर ऑर्गन ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन द कोर्ट इज नॉट कंपोज ऑफ रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ गवर्नमेंट मेंबर्स ऑफ द कोर्ट आर इंडिपेंडेंट जजेस ये गवर्नमेंट के रिप्रेजेंटेटिव नहीं है ये इंडिपेंडेंट जजेस हुज फर्स्ट टास्क बिफोर टेकिंग अप देयर ड्यूटीज is to make a solemn declaration in open court that they will exercise their powers impartially and conscientiously and consentingly to yani ki bina biasness ke ye apni power ko jo hai wo exercise karenge ye nahi ki agar koi russia ka judge ban gaya aur wo russia ko favor karega kisi bhi case he should not have any interest in this subject matter of dispute Every judge has to exercise the power independently and on the duties laid upon the judge. In order to guarantee his or her independence, no member of the court can be dismissed unless in the unanimous opinion of other members. He or she no longer fulfills the required condition. This has, in fact, never happened till today. अब बात करें इंडियन जजेस एट आईसीजे जज दलवीर भंडारी मेंबर ऑफ द कोर्ट सिंस 27 अप्रैल 2022 से थे ये नौ साल के लिए रघुनंदन स्वरूप पाठक 1989 से 1991 तक रहे नागेंद्र सिंह 1973 से 1988 तक सर बेनेगल राव 1952-1953 में रहे आईसीजे के जोरिस्टिक्शन और फंक्शनिंग के बारे में बात आईसीजे है क्या आईसीजे एक वर्ल्ड कोर्ट है विद टू फोल्ड जोरिस्टिक्शन दैट इज लीगल डिस्प्यूट बिटवीन द स्टेट सबमिटेड टू इट बाय देम कंटेंशियस केसेस जो मेंबर कंट्रीज अगर अपना कोई केस इसमें लगा और दूसरा एंड रिक्वेस्ट फॉर एडवाइजरी ओपिनियन ऑन द लीगल क्वेश्चन रेफर टू इट बाय द यूनाइटेड नेशन ऑर्गन्स एंड स्पेशलाइज्ड एजेंसीज एडवाइजरी प्रोसीडिंग्स ओनली स्टेट्स व्हिच आर मेंबर्स ऑफ द यूनाइटेड नेशंस एंड व्हिच हैव बिकम पार्टीज टू द स्टैट्यूट ऑफ द कोर्ट और व्हिच हैव एक्सेप्टेड इट्स जुरिस्डिक्शन अंडर सर्टेन कंडीशंस आर पार्टीज टू द कंटेंशियस केसेस states have no permanent representatives accredited to the court they normally communicate with the registrar through their minister for foreign affairs or their ambassadors accredited to the netherlands when they are parties to a case before the court they are represented by the by an agent since international relations are at stake the agent is also as it were the head of special diplomatic mission with past to commit a southern state the judgment is final binding on the parties to case and without appeal at the most it may be subject to interpretation or upon the discovery of a new fact ya fir isko revise kiya ja sakta otherwise judgment is final iski appeal nahi rahegi by signing the charter a member state of the united nations undertakes to comply with the decision of the court in any case to which it is a party a state a state which considers 
that the other side has failed to perform the obligations incumbent upon it under a judgment rendered by the court may bring the matter before the security council which is empowered to recommend or decide upon upon the measures to be taken to give effect to the judgment the procedure described above is the normal procedure however the course of proceedings may be modified by the incidental proceedings icj discharges its duties as a full court but at the request of the parties it may also establish ad hoc chambers to examine specific cases advisory proceedings before the court are only upon open to five organs of the united states and 16 specialized agencies of the united nations sorry it's united nations जो पांच ऑर्गन है यूनाइटेड नेशंस के या फिर सोलह स्पेशलाइज्ड एजेंसीज हैं यूनाइटेड नेशंस की वो एडवाइजरी जूरिस्टिक्शन ले सकते हैं इंटरप्रिटेशन ले सकते हैं किसी भी इंटरनेशनल लॉ की ओपिनियन प्रोवाइडेड बाय द कोर्ट इज ओनली एडवाइजरी एंड आर नॉट एसेंशियली बाइंडिंग अब कुलभूषण जाधव केस बहुत चर्चा में रहा था वो केस क्या है और क्या हुआ कुलभूषण जाधव वॉज अरेस्टेड इन मार्च 2016 हजार सोलह बाई दाकिस्तान सिक्योरिटी फोर्सेस इन बलोचिस्तान प्रोविंस आफ्टर ही रिपोर्टेडली एंटर फ्रॉम इरान ही वॉज सेंटेंस टू डेथ बाय अ पाकिस्तानी मिलिट्री कोर्ट ऑन द चार्जेस ऑफ एस्पाइनेज एंड टेररिज्म इन अप्रैल 2017। इंडिया हैज ऑलवेज मेंटेन्ड दैट द कुलभूषण जाधव इज नॉट अ स्पाय and that pakistan should provide consular access to him as his case pertains to abduction from the iranian territory in may no 2018 icj has stayed his death sentence after india has moved a petition before the un body to seek justice for him alleging the violation of the vienna convention on the consular relations by the pakistan to vienna convention jo thi इसके अलेज करके कि उसका कॉन्ट्रोवेंशन जो हो रहा है उसका कॉन्ट्रोवेंशन हो रहा है और उसको अलेज करके हमने बोला कि भैया देखिए पाकिस्तान तो क्या क्या कर रहा है अब इसको खत्म कीजिए इसको स्टे करिए और आईसीजे ने उसका जो डेथ सेंटेंस है वो स्टे कर दिया आईसीजे की रूलिंग आई दो हजार उन्नीस दी रूल्ड दैट दी पाकिस्तान वॉज ऑब्लाइ अंडर इंटरनेशनल लॉस टू प्रोवाइड बाई मीन ऑफ इट्स ओन चूजिंग इफेक्टिव रिव्यू एंड रिकंसिडरेशन ऑफ जादव कन्विक्शन पाकिस्तान का रिस्पॉन्स आया इन दीक ऑफ दी आई सी जे ऑर्डर दाकिस्तान गवर्नमेंट प्रोमोलगेटेड स्पेशल ऑर्डिनेंस टू अलाउ जादव टू फाइल अ रिव्यू पाकिस्तान पार्लियामेंट पास एंड इंटरनेशनल कोर्ट ऑफ जस्टिस रिव्यू एंड रिकंसिडरेशन बिल दो हजार इक्कीस एम टू फुलफिल द ऑब्लिगेशन अंडर द प्रोटेक्ट ऑफ आई सी जे However, India pointed out that the law has several shortcomings, and that steps are needed to implement the ICJ's order in letter and spirit. बाकी कुछ cases जो हैं ICJ के पास कौन से हैं? Other cases was India involved in ICJ. Apart from the Kulbushan Jadhav case, India has been a party to a case of the ICJ on the occasions. Three of which have involved Pakistan. Right of passage over Indian territory, Portugal versus Indian, culminated in 1960. Appeal relating to the jurisdiction of ICAO Council, India and Pakistan, culminated in 1972. Trial of Pakistan prisoners of war, Pakistan versus India, culminated in 1973. Aerial incident of 10 August 1999, Pakistan versus India, culminated. 2000 obligations concerning negotiation relating to cessation of the nuclear arms race and the nuclear disarmament marshall islands versus india culminated 2016 ab limitations kya hai functioning of icj icj suffers from certain limitations these are mainly structural circumstantial and related to material resources made available to the 
it has no jurisdiction to try individuals accused of war crimes or crimes against humanity as it is not a criminal court it does not have a prosecutor able to initiate the proceedings <clears throat> it differs from the courts which deal with allegations of violation of the human rights conventions under which they were set up as well as applications from state as as which court can entertain application from individual that is not possible for the international court of justice the jurisdiction of international court of justice in general and hereby differ from that of a specialist international tribunal such as international tribunal for the law and c the court is not supreme court to which the national court can turn it does not act as a court of last resort for individuals nor is it an appeal court for any international tribunal it can however rule on the validity of arbitral awards the court can only hear a dispute when requested to do so it can only hear a dispute whenever requested to do so by one or more of the states it cannot deal with the dispute on its own initiative neither it is permitted under the statute to investigate and rule on acts of sovereign statute as it chooses the icj only has jurisdiction based on consent not compulsory jurisdiction it does not enjoy a full separation of powers with permanent members of the security council being able to veto enforcement of cases even those to which they consented to be bound ab baat aati hai way forward to likewise hamara way forward jo hai the international court of justice is endowed with both a privileged institution status and procedural instruments whose potential is frequently underestimated isko hamesha underestimate kara jata raha the international court of justice is a component not only for the machinery for the peaceful settlement of disputes created by the charter but also of the general system for the maintenance of international peace and security that established the court's contribution to the institutional law of the united nations was threefold its jurisprudence had helped to consolidate the organization's role and place in the international legal order by clarifying its legal status as an international organization and the scope of powers with which it was entrusted its decision had also shed light within the institution itself and the functioning and responsibilities of the organization's principal organ and on those functional limits moreover the court has pronounced itself in text adopted by the general assembly thereby strengthening the co- cooperation in the promotion and development of international peace recently the court had opportunity to re- to reiterate the finding in the opinion of the legal consequences of the construction of a wall in the occupied palestinian territory which had been delivered in 2004 the court has recalled that although the security council had primarily responsibility for the maintenance of international peace and security under article 24 of the charter its responsibility was not exclusive turning to crimes against humanity while the rome statute regulated vertical relationships between the international criminal court and the states parties it did not prescribe any obligation regarding adoption of national laws on such crimes or interstate cooperation the current work would create horizontal relationships among states and regulate interstate cooperation strengthening the international community's effort to prevent those crimes so it was all about your icj
हमारी अगली जो इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है वो है जी ट्वेंटी तो जी ट्वेंटी इज एन इनफॉर्मल ग्रुप ऑफ नाइनटीन कंट्रीज एंड द यूरोपियन यूनियन इसलिए इसको नाइनटीन प्लस वन ट्वेंटी बोला जाता है विद रिप्रेजेंटेटिव ऑफ द इंटरनेशनल मॉनिटरी फंड एंड दर्ल्ड बैंक The G20 membership comprises a mix of world's largest advanced and emerging economies. Together, the G20 members represent more than 80% of the world's GDP, 75% of the trade, and 60% of the world's population. So, itna bada share G20 ke paas. Isliye. ये एक इम्पॉर्टेंट इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन अब बेसिकली जी ट्वेंटी जो है ये इवॉल्व कैसे जी ट्वेंटी इवॉल्व कैसे हो 1997 से 1999 एशियान फाइनेंशियल क्राइसिस दिस वाज अ मिनिस्टेरियल लेवल फॉरम व्हिच इमर्ज आफ्टर जी सेवन इनवाइटेड बोथ डिवेलप एंड डेवलपिंग इकोनॉमीज the finance ministers and the central bank governors begin meeting in 1999 amid 2008 financial crisis we know 2008 mein bahut bada financial crisis the world saw the need for a new consensus building at the highest political level it was decided that the g20 leaders would begin meeting once annually to help prepare these summits the g20 finance ministers and the central bank governors continue to meet on their own twice a year they meet at the same time at the international monetary fund and the world bank ab g20 karta kya hai the work of g20 is divided into two tracks the finance track sabse pehla hai finance track. फाइनेंस ट्रैक कंप्राइजेस ऑल मीटिंग्स विद जी ट्वेंटी फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर्स एंड द सेंट्रल बैंक गवर्नर एंड देयर डिस्प्यूट्स मीटिंग सेवरल टाइम्स थ्रू आउट द ईयर दे फोकस ऑन द मॉनिटरी एंड फिजिकल इश्यूज दे फोकस ऑन द मॉनिटरी एंड फिजिकल इश्यूज फाइनेंशियल रेगुलेशन एक्सेट्रा द शापा ट्रैक फोकसेस ऑन द ब्रॉडर इश्यूज सच एस पॉलिटिकल एंगेजमेंट एंटी करप्शन डेवलपमेंट एनर्जी एटसेट्रा ईच जी ट्वेंटी कंट्री इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय शर्क हु प्लान गाइड्स इंप्लीमेंट्स एटसेट्रा ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ द लीडर ऑफ देयर रिस्पेक्टिव कंट्री इंडियन शार्पा एट द जी ट्वेंटी इन आर्जेंटीनिया दो हजार अठारह वॉज श्री शक्ति कांता दास अब मेंबर्स क्या क्या है द मेंबर्स ऑफ द जी ट्वेंटी जी ट्वेंटी आर अर्जेंटीनिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया ब्राजील कैनेडा चाइना फ्रांस जर्मनी इंडिया इंडोनेशिया इटली जापान रिपब्लिक ऑफ कोरिया मैक्सिको रशिया सऊदी अरेबिया साउथ अफ्रीका टर्की द यूनाइटेड किंगडम द यूनाइटेड स्टेट्स एंड द यूरोपियन यूनियन द एंटायर यूरोपियन Unit. Spain as a permanent non-member invitee also at, also attends leader summit. Now G20 focus what what does it do? It focuses on the broad agenda of issues of global importance. Although issues pertaining to the global economy dominate the agenda. बेसिकली इकोनॉमिक्स के रिलेशन में जो कुछ भी है वो डोमिनेट करेगी एजेंडा में पर उसके अलावा बहुत सारी चीजें जो ये देखते एडिशनल आइटम्स हैव बिकम मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इन दी रिसेंट इयर्स फाइनेंशियल मार्केट्स टैक्स एंड फिजिकल पॉलिसी ट्रेड एग्रीकल्चर एम्प्लॉयमेंट एनर्जी फाइट अगेंस्ट करप्शन एडवांसमेंट ऑफ वुमेन इन जॉब मार्केट दो एजेंडा फॉर सस्टेनेबल डेवलपमेंट क्लाइमेटिक चेंज ग्लोबल हेल्थ एंटी टेररिज्म इंक्लूसिव इंक्लूसिव एंटरप्रेन इंक्लूसिव एंटरप्रेन्योरशिप अब क्या क्या चैलेंजेस हैं जो जी ट्वेंटी द्वारा फेस किए जाते हैं 
तो बेसिकली ब्रॉडली देखा जाए तो बहुत सारे चैलेंजेस हैं जी ट्वेंटी जो फेस कर नो एनफोर्समेंट मैकेजम दी जी ट्वेंटी टूल किट रेंजेस फ्रॉम सिंपल एक्सचेंज ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन एंड बेस्ट प्रैक्टिस टू एग्रींग कॉमन मेजरेबल टारगेट्स टू कोऑर्डिनेटेड एक्शन नन ऑफ दिस इज अचीव्ड विदाउट कंसेंसस नॉर इज इट एनफोर्सिंग एक्सेप्ट फॉर द इंसेंटिव ऑफ पीयर रिव्यू एंड पब्लिक पब्लिक अकाउंटेबिलिटी तो देयर इज नो बाइंडिंग प्रिंसिपल ऑन द कंसेंसस ऑफ नॉट लीगली बाइंडिंग द डिसीजन आर बेस्ड ऑन द डिस्कशन एंड कंसेंसस आपस में चर्चा करके जो डिसीजन निकलता है वो डिसीजन है विच कलमिनेट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ डिक्लेरेशन और वो लेटर डिक्लेरेशन की फॉर्म में लेता है दीज डेक्लेन आर नॉट लीगली बाइंडिंग इट्स जस्ट एन एडवाइजरी और कंसल्टेटिव ग्रुप ऑफ ट्वेंटी मेंबर्स ये बस एक बातचीत का नतीजा निकली हुई डिक्लेरेशन है बातचीत का नतीजा निकली हुई डिस्कशन तो इसके पीछे कोई बाइंडिंग फोर्स नहीं है अगर कोई डिक्लेरेशन हो भी गई उसको कोई नहीं मानेगा तो उसके खिलाफ आप क्या कर लोगे नेक्स्ट इज पॉलराइजेशन ऑफ इंटरेस्ट रशिया एंड यूक्रेन प्रेसिडेंट्स आर इनवाइटेड टू दी ट्वेंटी समिट to be held in november 2022 the us has already demanded to not invite russian president or us and european countries would boycott his address china's strategic rise nato's expansion and russia's territorial aggression in georgia and crimea and now in russia ukraine conflict in 2022 changed the global priorities globalization is no longer a cool word and multilateral organizations have a credibility crisis as countries around the world pick being g0 a term coined by political commentator ian bramer to denote every nation for its over the g7 g20 brics p5 unsc permanent members and others तो इस तरीके से G20 का क्या दायित्व है क्या मतलब है क्या अस्तित्व है ये अच्छे से हम समझ पा रहे हैं पर बिकॉज ऑफ एन इंटरनेशनल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी हैव टू रीड वी शुड स्टडी पर अल्टीमेटली दी वीकनेस ऑफ दी जी ट्वेंटी कैन बी फिट अब व्हाट कैन बी डन टू इंप्रूव दिस व्हाट कैन बी डन to make it effective and what should be done what could be and what should be done we are to list everything in the brief the g20 cannot be a panacea for the world's problems but over the past 10 years the g20 has been an important forum for international cooperation effective global governance like the g20 is essential as rising powers seek opportunities to influence and contribute to the global order global cooperation should be given priority over individual interest for the benefit of all the member countries use of dialogue and diplomacy should be carried out to resolve issues like ukraine russia conflict and differences between the russia and the west India should focus upon utilizing the G20 2023 summit as a platform to raise discussions on issues such as aggressive trade barriers sanctions inter country conflicts and advocate for global peace and cooperation to so basically G20 bees nations ka ek group आपको बेसिकली याद रखनी है इसमें ये सारी कंट्रीज यूरोपियन यूनियन तो पूरा का पूरा आएगा अर्जेंटीनिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया अर्जेंटीनिया ऑस्ट्रेलिया लेट अस जस्ट रीड अगेन एंड अगेन सो दैट वी कैन रिमेंबर दिस क्वेश्चंस आर ऑलवेज सीन इन द प्रीलिम्स एग्जामिनेशन फ्रॉम द पॉइंट ऑफ व्यू 
that which countries are part of the G20 and which countries are not the part of G20. And questions may be asked that is this country related to G20 or not? So we just have to remember all these countries here on the screen. In order to answer this question very easily, it is not possible, it is not easy, it is possible, but it is not easy to learn all these countries. But revising again and again will make you remember these countries. So let us try to revise Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada, China, France, Germany in the alphabetic order Argentina, Australia, Brazil, Canada. China, France, Germany, India, Indonesia, Italy, India, Indonesia, Italy, three from I, two from E, one from B, two from C. Argentina, Australia are two from alphabet A, Brazil is alone from alphabet B, Canada and China two from alphabet C, France is one from alphabet F, G from Germany, G for Germany is only one country. I in I from I there are three countries India Indonesia and Italy Japan is the only one from J Republic of Korea only one from K Mexico Russia is only one from R and M Saudi Arabia and South Africa two from S Turkey the United Kingdom United States and the European Union so three unions are there United Kingdom United States and European Union. Three unions are there. Keep uh, remember this. Three unions are there: European Union, United States, and the United Kingdom. Argentina, Australia are from A. India, Italy, and Indonesia are three from I. China and Canada two from C. South Africa and South Arabia, Saudi Arabia, are two from S. Republic of Korea, Mexico, Russia. This you can easily remember. Spain is a permanent member. Non-member invitee. Spain as a non-member. Non Spain is a permanent non-member invitee. Remember this. Spain is a non-member invitee. Also attends the leader summit. So, for your prelims exam, this page is good for you. You should read it again and again. And else the goals listed here you can explain these in one or two liners for your mains examination let us suppose a question comes only from the g20 and you have to write about the g20 you just have to give a brief introduction on the g20 I'm switching in the slides in order to make you understand we just have to give this introduction and then you just have to give a small light to a small light on the historical background of G20. Then after you can uh, list down the task of G20 like this. There are two tasks and uh, what are the member countries. Then after what are the spheres in which the G20 works. What is the challenge faced by the G20 and what should be the way forward. In this short and concise way you can include your answer. That would be a very good answer. And I have uh, written everything in this PPT. The notes would be provided to you. So that your mains answer is already prepared. You just need to focus on the revision, the content inside. The notes are there for you. So this was all for your G20. Again, I hope all of you have understood. In the next lecture, we are going to do with the United Nations, the major portion of international organization. So, thank you. Have a nice day.